I think it's a good first opera for people because it's short and concise. It's <laughs> real, real people, real conflicts that people will recognize. It's tuneful. It's beautiful. It's sad. There are some funny moments. Um, and I think it's really easy to get drawn in to this world and sort of um, get lost in the theater of mm -hmm. it. The music score is actually very accessible. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is very filmic, the music, and I think more and more I'm, I'm hearing that. It's almost like a continuous dialogue between these characters. Mm. There's not, you don't really stop for arias or for duets mm -hmm. like you would in mm -hmm. Mozart or in Puccini. It's a more continuous flow of narrative. Mm -hmm. for that. Katya finds her strength as she goes through the opera, but she's sort of this um, beautiful, life-filled, um, free spirit that's been crushed by her circumstances and figures out how to find her own freedom. I happen to be a bitch from hell. <laughs> uh, not typecasting, I hasten to add, um, which is fascinating to play. I mean, I, character I... I don't identify with and I really don't like her, but it's interesting for me to give her a backstory. Yeah, and then you have Varvara, who is um, the stepdaughter. That's right, of sort of the free spirit. Really, isn't she? mm -hmm. yeah. She's the, the empowered woman um, mm. who really just takes her own future into her into her own hands. And mm. when Kabanika is not there, she changes into some more tardy outfits. Um, so you have this kind of range of women mm. on stage. But there's mm. such interesting characters. There's so many layers mm -hmm. to, to explore. It makes the opera so interesting. I would say the important things for people to hear are um, the first big monologue that, that Katya sings tells you a lot about who she was before she was in the circumstance she's in now. And for me, it's been really informative to, because when you drop in the middle of someone's trauma and you don't, you don't see them before it happens, it, you lose part of the picture. And so the way that Janacek deals with that is she talks about who she used to be. And so I think that it's this extended monologue. It's really beautiful. And she talks mm -hmm. about this freedom. And she identifies with birds a lot, which becomes important at the end. But there's really delightful. There's a folk song that Kudryash sings. I was sings. just going to yeah. say that. Yeah. That, that would be mm -hmm. the, the kind of the, the modern version of if something was going to be made into a hit single, it would absolutely yeah. be Kudryash's aria. It, Elvis. It's very Elvis, <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say that. Very Elvis. <laughs> I think it'd be one of the sort of Scandi noir series, like The Bridge, oh, one of those. Absolutely. Yeah, like sort a of dark mystery, dark, dark, interesting characters, yeah, troubled, tortured, a lot of troubled characters, dysfunctional then, relationships, with a little bit of um, something a little bit absurd as well. There are yeah. there are elements of mm -hmm. it that are. Um, a little unreal. A bit of Breaking Bad, was, maybe, maybe yeah. in the mix? It wouldn't be family friendly. <laughs> no, I don't think, no, I don't think it would be family friendly. <laughs> or comedy. I mean, mm -hmm. the dark comedy. Dark comedy. But, yeah. There are some dark comedy moments, but mm. yeah. 